Hey, I'm Andrew, and I'm here with Luke, Grant, and David behind the camera. And for our control systems farm automation project, we worked with Tim and Catherine Moreland. And for them, we built a automatic chicken coop door opener system. Uh, this is our control module. It allows them to have some user interface and all the mechanical stuff's inside, which uh, Luke and the others will be showing. Yeah, so first we're gonna get a little bit into the user interface here. Um, so starting at the top corner here, we've got this light sensor error. So basically it will tell you if one of the light sensors isn't reading uh, the right value. Grant will get into kind of how that's calculated, but that, that's a really nice feature for the Morelands to be able to just know if one of the lights, the light sensors are, are not working, so they can just go in and replace them. This is a potentiometer that you can adjust whether the door will open um, a little bit when it's darker or lighter uh, compared to sunset, co compared to sunset or sunrise. Um, so that's a nice feature if they want if they want to control that. And then we have an automatic and manual switch. So this is currently in automatic mode, so it's going to run off the LDRs. But you can switch it in a manual, and you can just control it um, all on your own um, if they want to do that. Um, and basically, all that does is disable any readings from the LDRs, the light sensors. Um, and then finally, you, you have this open and close button that's a override. You can open and close the door at any point in time. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's that's the user interface. We're gonna go ahead and switch over to Grant here. He's gonna talk a little bit about the code. Yeah, so like what Luke said prior, uh, the light sensor error, it actually, there's three light sensors uh, and they're all located over there. And basically they all check each other using a percent difference and if one of them is significantly different in comparison to the others then it'll completely negate it and go to zero and it'll use the other two and you know vice versa for the other ones and once this holds red it actually means that all three of them are broken and all of them need to be replaced if it blinks then it's just one or two of them uh, in the code itself it'll actually tell you which LDR is broken so it'll tell whether it's one, two, or three. So if worse comes to worse, if you really wanted to know, you could plug it in and then check on the serial monitor uh, which LDR needs to be replaced. Um, and then also another key function about this is in the program, it tracks the door state throughout the entirety of this running, which means you can switch between automatic and manual mode and it'll know the current state of the door, whether it's open or closed. Okay, here's this. So we can go outside real quick. I'll show you where the LDRs are. So you come outside here. We probably won't show up on the cameras, but basically we drilled three small holes here in the wall, and then the LDRs are just sticking out there to get the light indicator. And this is the pen that the chickens The chicken live run. In. And then that's the other side of the door. So inside the coop, we have all of our mechanical systems. So we ran wires just on the ceiling from the Arduino back there, up down here. And so first we have the motor here. So this is attached to a 3D printed pulley. And so this will uh, wrap up the cord to pull up the door. And then here we have these mechanical latches we designed. So these are inspired by an extension ladder. So an extension ladder, if you lift it up, it'll kind of go and lock in. And then you can lift it up a little bit more and then it'll go all the way back down. And so these are similar design. And these are controlled by two different limit switches. So we have a limit switch which will recognize when it's been high enough to latch into the bottom. And then a limit switch which is big enough, high enough to know when it's gone high enough to go all the way back down. So if we want to go ahead and hit the button, switch it in manual mode, and then hit the button. The door opens and then closes all the way. And then can you flick it into automatic mode? Oh, there we go. And so the door just opened on its own because the sun is out and it has crossed the threshold for which the door needs to be opened. So that's our automatic chicken coop door.